Hello! So, I've been feeling a bit sick this weekend. Meh. A bit coldy and gross. So, I thought, why not do a bookshelf tour? It's really long, so I don't blame you if you don't get to the end of it. But, if you like it, give it a like. Show me your books. Let's get on with it, because it takes forever. <laughs> Sorry! Okay, so this is my bookshelf. Goes quite big. I've got um, a computer screen that I plug my laptop into sometimes if I'm watching a film. And let's go. So, top shelf, I've got the Ali's World books, which I loved as a, a young person. And then I am Holmes. I've read a bit of that. Chinese Cinderella. Loved that as a child. Read that loads of times. Uh, never read that. Kung Fu Trip. Then I've got some horrible science books. Um, I think most of these are signed. I think I just kept the signed ones and then got rid of the rest. And then we have Nancy Drew. A couple of those. I haven't read them yet. I've got those off a friend. Um, Princess at the school. Read that. Um, Fit for the sixth. Six form soap book. <laughs> These have all been given to me by my friends. So, I think the only one I've read is Princess at the school. Oh, I'll get back in there. Um, Anna Green Gables, no idea why there's a sticker over her face. And then we have a TARDIS. And then this here is like my kind of travel -y section. So I've got a postcard. My house is sad. This came free with some um, tattoos that I bought off Etsy. They're really cute. So the travel section, we've got a French dictionary, an A to Z of Birmingham. Um, Europe on a shoestring, that's really cool. One day I will travel around Europe and that will be useful. Then we've got a day in Florence, that was from a charity shop. Essential Venice, that's from a charity shop, so they're a bit out of date but I like having a look at the pictures. Um, guide to New York City. Go to Prague, Istanbul. I got this one. And this one was given to me by the family I was living with when I lived in Istanbul. And then we have Central West Turkey. Again, that was when I was living in Turkey. That's the one that I actually took with me to Istanbul. And then we have a Welsh quiz book. That was in a stocking one day. That was fun. Christmas Eve, a French copy of Mr. Tickle, uh, another French dictionary, a Europe phrase book for the, when I do go to Europe, um, we've got a Welsh dictionary and a map of Amsterdam. So that's the top shelf. And hopefully from now on it should be less wobbly because I'm not having to hold this above my head. And we've got the second shelf. So this stuff on this side. So How to Be a Victorian by Ruth Goodman. Shady Characters, it's a typography book, just my type, typography book on the map. It's a book about maps. It's by the same guy. Um Simon Garfield that wrote Just My Type. And then behind the screen we've got Lady Armina, the real Downton Abbey. So that's the lady that was living at Highclere Castle whenever in the period that um, Downton Abbey was set in. Tory Hayden book. Twilight Children. Not read that yet. It was recommended to me by um, someone at a work thing because um, she does a lot with special needs kids. And we have The Time Traveller's Wife. 
This copy came from a big box of books that get left on the tube. My auntie knows someone who works on the tubes or trains or something and they just have so many books that people leave behind so they kind of dish them out. The Girl's Guide to Kissing Frogs. Not read this one either, it was from a charity shop, it was Get a Bat. And Sophie's World. And then we have my sheep. That's really dusty, that's disgusting. Um, that's my sheep that mum gave me when I moved to Wales for uni. And then it's a picture of my sister and my cousin. So then we have Bread of Heaven by Jasper Rees. That's pretty good. It's about this guy trying to, he's English, but he's parents, his roots are Welsh, so he's trying to get back to his roots and become a real Welsh person. Um, the Other Typist by Suzanne Rindle. Not read this one yet, got that on the book crawl. And then we have Fanny and Stella, Mr. Penemba's 24-hour bookstore, Win or Lose. I bought this pretty much because I like the cover. That was it. Uh, Jude of Care. The Lovely Bones. Wicked. Then we've got some chalet schools. So, New Mistress at Chalet School. Jane and the Chalet School. And the head girl of the chalet school. Um, if you could see me now, where rainbows end. I'm sure I had another one of these, but I don't know where it is. Um, and then this, which I didn't even know was there, and I don't think I've read. And I think I borrowed it off someone's mum. So I should probably give that back, really. Yeah, I don't know why I had that. I just, I don't, it doesn't even appeal to me. So the third shelf is kind of young adult sort of mostly so this L was made for me for Christmas present so we've got a squashed in Welsh copy of Philosopher's Stone uh, Philosopher's Stone you know what these look like Philosopher's Stone, Chamber of Secrets, Prisoner of Azkaban, Goblet of Fire, Harp of Prince, Deathly Hallows and then we have Barry Trotter not read those yet, but they were. A friend saw them in a charity shop and was like, Lauren needs these. So they're like parodies. Then we have John Green's Looking for Alaska, Abundance of Catherine's. I really like these books that are like really flexible. Um, Paper Towns, Fault in Our Stars, which is one of the pre-order copies but it wasn't signed so I've got a book plate for it I think in here yep book plate sticker because I got a first edition that wasn't signed and then we've got Hunger Games Catching Fire Mockingjay um, Warren Johnson Name of the Star I have read the other one but I just borrowed it off someone Boy in the Smoke, that was one pound book day book. It's kind of a prequel y thing to the name and stuff. Uh, Anthony Horowitz Point Blank. Oh, I forgot this was there. Um, bonus Stormbreaker chapter that you got when you went to see the film. Me and my group of friends were absolutely obsessed with the Alex Ryder books, so we were very excited to go and see, go and see the film. We've got Miss Peregrine's School for Peculiar Children, The Invention of Hugo Cabret, I love this book, the illustrations in it are beautiful. Let's try and get it out without smashing it too much. Oh. Let's move that. Look how pretty that is. Um, Pegs have been a wallflower. As you can see, they're all pretty tightly packed on here. Um, How I Live Now. The Asbo Fairy Tales, which is just fairy tales retold with Asbos. It's great. That was a birthday present years and years ago. 
And then we have some Danny Wallace and Dave Gorman books. I kind of lump them together because they're they feature in each other's books pretty much. So are you Dave Gorman? Basically goes around trying to find other people called Dave Gorman. Um, Danny Wallace join me where he makes a cult. Danny Wallace yes man where he decides to just say yes to everything. They're, I really like these books. They're really funny. Um, right now this book is not mine. I have a feeling I have stolen it <laughs> from uh, my one of my university flatmates friends. So sorry, Rach, but I have your copy of One Day, I think. And then we have the Princess Bride, which I really like this cover. Urgh. It's really pretty. This is a painting my sister did for me. We were pulling faces in the picture that she referenced it from, so she's not like drawn our faces a bit chubby and weird. So that was a birthday card one year. She's an artist. And then the fourth shelf is kind of classics, um, plays, graphic novels and cookery books. So we've got a Sherlock book, Study in Scarlet. And then these I bought the other day, even though I'm on a book ban, but they were such a bargain I had to buy them anyway. Um, they were half price, two sets of vintage classics children's books collections. So this has got Treasure Island, Silver Sword and Swallows and Amazons in it. And they are all beautiful covers, if I can get them out. Look at that! So there's Swallows and Amazons. Um, Treasure Island, look at the artwork on that. And the Silver Sword. So that was like the adventure kind of box set. And then there was this one, which was more, I don't want to say girly, but kind of mystically lands girly books. And that one had Secret Garden, Little Women, I love the orange and the blue on this, Little Women, and Alice in Wonderland. So then we have some more classics, so we've got um, Tolstoy and Karenina, we did not talk about how long it's taken me to read this book. Um, Jane Austen, Emma, bargain, one pound. Um, Jane Austen, Pride and Prejudice, and then we've got some Penguin classics, so we've got After Leaving Mr Mackenzie, The Great Gatsby, and The Prime of Miss Jean Brodie. And then this book I borrowed from Georgie ages and ages and ages ago and I haven't given it back yet because I still haven't read it but one day Georgie I promise you will have this back soon. Um, it's a copy of The Lady of the Camellias. And then we have the, well we have some poems, <laughs> some poems, one poetry book which is The Melancholy Death of Oyster Boy and Other Stories by Tim Burton which has beautiful illustrations in it. And then we have a plays section. So up here we have a Noel Coward collection which I got out of the library a very long time ago and it's very overdue and I'm a little bit scared to take it back but it will go back soon I promise because oh my goodness this is so overdue. <laughs> so we've got um, Ben Power version of Medea with Helen McCrory on the front which is signed by Helen McCoy, and then we have a more original text kind of copy of Medea and some other ones, I think it's got like a lecture or whatever in it, um, then we have Mel Coward Hay Fever, The Last of the Housemans, Helen McCrory again, um, Mel Coward Private Lives by Signed by Anna Chancellor and Tony Stevens. Yep, and that's them on the front. And then we have two Nick Paynes, we've got Constellations. Though I really like reading plays, this one I really wish I'd seen it in the theatre because I just don't understand how they staged it. It's a lot of flashing back and forwards and trying different scenes if they could have gone a different way. So reading it is just terrible. 
but I'm sure it was absolutely amazing on stage. One day when we're young, this was adorable, love that. Um, check off the cherry orchards, kind of spark notes type thing for Macbeth. Othello. Um, bought this because it was cheap, don't actually know what it is. My Three Angels, a comedy. Tennessee Williams, A Streetcar Named Desire, I got that in a Reddit exchange. Um, Education Rita, How Printer the Birthday Party, I hated this. And then we have graphic novels. So we've got Sally Heathcote, Suffragette. This is lovely. It's mostly black and white. Oh, trying to do it one handed. But with the red hair. It's really pretty. How to Bag a Jabberwock. The novel that this is kind of a guide, well, a novel about the guide, I think, is coming out for this really soon. Um, ten Leisure Machines. I saw a play which had loads of illustration um, projected in the background as part of this, pretty much the set. Um, really good. So the guy that illustrated the whole hour's worth of a play by himself was there selling his book afterwards, so I bought that. And then we have the very lovely Lucy Neasley, who I love so much. Um, Radiator Days, French Milk, and Relish, which leads us on very nicely because this is both graphic novel and a cookbook. So into the cooking section where we have a student cookbook, Chocolate, cookies, giraffe, um, the two sorted books, Britain's Best Dish, jelly, this is beautiful, the pictures in here are just, look at that, like, well for end pages, look at that, and then look how beautiful these pictures are, and then finally, vegetarian pasta. So the fifth shelf is kind of books that are quite big, chunky, hard facts, sort of how-to type things here, then we've got film, TV, tie-ins, and autobiographies and biographies. First one was bought for me by loads of people, well two people at Christmas, so I did have two copies. Um, Master Nabu and the Missing Diamond. It's basically a kid's book, based on Downton Abbey we have knitted mice it's quite funny and then we have a Torchwood archive or yearbook thing um, Hamish's producer about Cameron Macintosh and musicals ties in with the concert they did years ago um, music of Andrew Lloyd Webber and then we have the Torval and Dean obsession so we have two copies of Fire and Ice um, I'm gonna work. They're the same book. This one includes 1994 chapter. That's the only difference between the two. Then we have hard copy of Facing the Music, paperback copy of Saving Facing the Music, um, hardback copy of the John Hensey biography, paperback version. And then we have John Barrowman's autobiographies, which the uh, footnotes the footnotes make these two books. They are absolutely hilarious. Then we have a book about Emily Davison, who's a suffragette. Um, J.D. Pranger's autobiography, biography of David Tennant. Then Jacqueline Wilson's autobiography, a biography of Wallace Simpson. Oh, I should keep that out because I can't put them all back together. Uh, Street Cat Named Bob. Catelyn Moran's How to Be a Woman. More anthology, which is just a collection of her um, mostly writings from the Times. And then we have Tim Burton, and that's kind of the biography section. So let's just get this stuff up here done with. Um, the Chorister's Companion from my days as a chorister. The Unknown Unknown. A guidebook for Highclere Castle and how to win at Scrabble because one day, one day, I will beat my mother at Scrabble. 
So then we have some Downton Abbey books, so The World of Downton Abbey, and Behind the Scenes at Downton Abbey, Gavin and Stacey book, Doctor Who episode guide, Hugo the movie companion, which ties in with that book up there, The Invention of Hugo, Hugo Cabret. Then we have some Torchwood novels, which I really enjoyed these and um, the Tortured Archives, which is signed, I do believe. So that's Gareth David Lloyd as Yanto, John Barrowman as Jack, and Eve Miles as Gwen. And then we have the how-to type books. So we've got um, a bird book, Answer Me This, which is a podcast that I listen to. They answer questions. And then the girls' book, How to Be Great at Everything, How to Walk in High Heels, which is kind of just advice for ladies. I've had that ages since I was... I really liked these kind of books when I was a teenager. Um, and then this book I got free with a subscription to Homes and Antiques magazine that my friend Orla got me for my birthday. And then finally we have on the bottom shelf kind of the big... The books that just don't really fit anywhere, mostly. And then we have notebooks and some Will and Grace box sets. So we have, let's see, I don't even really know what's down here. Um, How to Play Poker, French copy of a Simpsons comic, uh, Bible, Bible. And the Bible. And then these are all kind of from university. So things about child poverty and the Welsh education system. So that's all that. And then we have some Benjamin Britten, the ceremony of carols. Let's it's just sheet music, choir music. Um, <laughs> how to be a little princess. That's a stupid in joke. A colouring book of gingers. That's Damien Lewis on the front cover, and his face got a bit ripped. Oh, look, I've done some colouring in. There okay, it's Prince Harry. Oh, and then we have my childhood favourites. So, Dr. Dog was just a quality book. These books I'm kind of like just keeping for my own children one day. Um, my baby book. Oh, look at that. The Day on Rosie's Farm. This one's quite cute. It's kind of a life history type book from my granny, so she didn't fill much in, but she filled some stuff in. Mm, this is another stolen one from a friend that I doubt she even knows or remembers owning this. I'm fairly sure I took this while we were still in high school. I didn't steal it, just borrowed it, and then apparently never gave it back. Katie Tunstall, sheet music, I used to like playing that on guitar. Dog Breath, which is quite possibly the greatest children's story ever. And then, I don't want to pull this out because all the notebooks are going to fall out. But it's just a big collection of bits about the Queen, 